Hi, I'm Roger Cox. I teach, I counsel, I chat with people, I talk with people, especially network marketers, about how to um, how to build their business, their network marketing business online, hopefully without spamming everybody. And so if, if you're a network marketer that like to build your business online and do it properly, uh, well, welcome to my video today. Again, I'm Roger Cox. Uh, I'm with www.rogercox.net. One of the questions that uh, network marketers, especially new ones, struggle with, and they're continually asking themselves, should I lead with my product or should I lead with my business? There's a lot of controversy about that, but about that topic. There's a school of thought that says you should you should lead with a product, and there's a, another school of thought that says you should lead with your business. And they've got good reasons for either one or the other. Those who uh, advocate for the leading with a the business, uh, they, they make the point that um, it, you make more money, make more money faster if you lead with a business because you're leveraging yourself. As a single person, you can only talk to so many people and, and get so many customers. But if you have other people who are also doing the same thing as you, you're leveraging your time and your and your you, so your your business business is building bigger, according to their train of thought, and it, it you create more money, and then it, and also those those distributors that you get in time. Well, hopefully they're they're using the product because most network marketing companies, they have, you know, they, they have you use the product and as part of their program. So, in essence, you get the distributor and then you also get the products that come along with it. Now, there's another train of thought that says, no, 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 you should lead with the with the product, because number one, it's easier to sell the product. Uh, when you if you think about it, uh, is it easier to sell someone a forty dollar product? That if it doesn't work for them, you know they they haven't lost a whole lot, uh, so it's an easy it's an easy transition for the customer. It's it's, it's a small amount of money, and if it if it doesn't work out for them, you know they it's forty bucks. You know they, they can put the stuff back on the shelf and, and they're, they're good to go. If you contrast that to trying to get someone in the business, then you know the, that prospect is looking at a, maybe a couple hundred dollars to get into the business, and it's and it's a it's a business, and a lot of people just don't, aren't. That their mind hasn't wrapped around the concept that they could be a business person, so it's a large, it's a large step for them out of their comfort zone. So you, you the, the the product people say it's much easier to to sell product than it is to to uh, to get someone to be your 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 uh, your associate, your team member. And then they also make the point that once a person is very satisfied with the product, they're going to keep buying it. So you get this residual income. And then there's always the, the possibility that those persons uh, who like the product really well will then become a distributor as well. So you have those those two those two uh, camps of thought. Uh, recently, in fact, just yesterday, I was listening to a uh, to a podcast by a guy by the name of Brian Finale, and uh, he was thinking that maybe that question. Excuse me, there's a truck going by, so I'm just going to wait here a little bit until it goes by and, and the sound goes away. So we'll just uh, bear with me here. He's, they're, picnic, they're picking up picnic tables here in the park. And so they're making a little noise. Okay, I think they're gone. So to get back to my topic, I was listening to a podcast by a guy by the name of Brian Finale. And he was thinking that maybe... The question about whether you should lead with the product or lead with the, the, the business opportunity is the wrong question to be asking. Maybe that's not what we should be asking, whether you should lead with the product or lead with the, uh, the business opportunity. And, and here's, what, here's what he was thinking. Um, when you're in front of a prospect or someone that you're going you're gonna to be talking to about uh, your, your business or your product, if it's a, someone that you don't know, you don't know what their needs are. You don't know what, what, what they want. And so how are you going to determine whether they are a product user or if they're a business person? Um, for example, if, you, if you're talking to a vegetarian, you know, you don't know him very well. You don't know he's a vegetarian and you offer him this big old huge steak. Now he's not going to appreciate it as much as he would, you know, if, if, if he, was, he, was a, he was a meat eater. So it really helps to know who you're talking to. So the question about whether to lead with the product or with the, uh, the business comes down to what does your customer need? What does the person that you're you know, sitting across from, what are they wanting? What do they want? Because until you know that, you don't know. You, and you won't know whether to lead with the product or with, with the, uh, the business. And if you go with the wrong one, uh, you know, there's a chance that you're going you're gonna to mess up the whole, 
you know, the whole tran- not transaction's a bad word, but you're, you're, you're going to, you're not going to get to where you want to go, right? Because you want to talk to what the customer needs. You want to talk to their needs and their wants and find out what it is that, you know, that, uh, that, that turns them on. And that's what you want to offer them. So then once you get to know someone, then you have this opportunity to then decide. You can discover some needs. Is this person a product user? Or is this person a person who has some entrepreneurial um, tendencies that he could really make a, a good business out of it? So that's, that's kind of it in a nutshell. <coughs> you know, there's a, excuse me for my cough, a, a lot of network marketers, you know, they, uh, well, I won't say a lot. There, there are some who are, who are in this for the, the quick buck. You know, it doesn't matter whether they are a product user or a, or, or a business person. They, they want to make that profit, and, and they just move on. And I and a lot of the people that I associate with, uh, we believe that network marketing is, is better than that. So we believe in talking to people, meeting their needs, finding out what they want, and then going from there, making it a real business, not a fly-by-night thing. And so if, if you're one of those people that, that happen to agree with that, that train of thought, um, there, there's, I encourage you to, to get in touch with me. I go to my blog at www.rogercox.net, and I've, I've got some more information there. But there's a whole, a whole new breed of network marketers whose their, their passion is helping people helping people get what they want whether that be a business person who's looking for a business and uh, is looking for someone they can trust or whether that's a product user who wants just wants to lose some weight and they they don't know who to turn to we need to start presenting ourselves as people who um, responsible business owners who we we have a product if it works and we can present that to them without all the hype without the okay i got one move on you know collect my profit let's go so if if you're one of those you know uh, hook up with us. Get in touch. Again, my name is Roger Cox. Uh, go to my webpage or my blog at www.rogercox.net, and there's some stuff on there. And get in contact with me. And I, I just love to talk and chat with people about different ideas about building business. We can help you. We can help you build your online business um, through social media, particularly, without making all your friends and relatives run off because they're afraid that you're going to just be spoo all over them all this garbage about how how great your stuff is. There's better ways to do that, and we can help with that. So you have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.